Bina Venkataraman, The Optimist's Telescope, Thinking Ahead in a Reckless Age. In an era of instant gratification, it can be challenging to make decisions that prioritize future welfare over immediate satisfaction. The Optimist's Telescope, Thinking Ahead in a Reckless Age, by Bina Venkataraman seeks to explore the reasons we make short-sighted choices and offers insights on how to improve our decision-making process. In this book summary, you will learn about how societal attitudes, lack of foresight, and a short-term mindset can hinder our ability to plan for the future, while also discovering how wise decision-making can empower both individuals and society as a whole. Recklessness is not a fixed human trait. Humans can learn to make better judgments to avoid short-sighted decisions that could lead to catastrophic consequences. The author believes that the modern era is fraught with reckless behavior, especially when it comes to addressing threats such as climate change. But contrary to popular belief, recklessness is not a fixed human trait. Indeed, we can all learn to make better judgments about the future, whether on a collective or individual level. This summary explores why people make short-sighted decisions and offers tools to help us become more forward-thinking in our decision-making. The Marshmallow Test Revisited How culture and values shape our relationship with impulse control and what we can do to develop foresight. Resisting immediate gratification has long been touted as one of the keys to long-term success. The famous Marshmallow Test, first conducted in the 1960s by psychologist Walter Mischel, offered empirical evidence that delaying gratification was a trait of gifted individuals. Recently, however, psychologists studying this phenomenon discovered that culture and values are significant factors that influence our capacity for self-control. In a 2017 study, psychologist Bettina Lam administered the marshmallow test to Cameroonian children and discovered that they were more inclined to delay gratification than their German counterparts. The Cameroonian children's proclivity toward self-control could be attributed to the cultural expectations and values instilled in them by their parents. For instance, Cameroonian mothers expected respect from their children and were less likely to respond to their children's signals of needs. This study and several others that followed suggest that our cultural practices and norms contribute significantly to developing our foresight. By changing our ways of life, we can create conditions conducive to delaying gratification and achieving long-term success. Therefore, the most critical question becomes what cultural practices and norms promote thinking ahead. In conclusion, the marshmallow test is a reminder that while delayed gratification is key to long-term success, it's not a trait exclusive to the gifted. Rather, our cultural practices and norms play a significant role in shaping our relationship with impulse control. The power of mental time travel. Our ability to vividly imagine the future is what drives human civilization. It allows us to plan, build culture, and make decisions that will impact us later on in life. The threats that we take seriously are the ones we can visualize. Economists have found that when we imagine ourselves in the future, we're more likely to save money, prepare for retirement, and make choices that will benefit us in the long run. The key takeaway is that we should hone our imagination to better confront immediate urges and focus on our long-term goals. Hone your willpower. Planning your reaction to future temptations can help you hone willpower, as anticipating obstacles makes people more likely to resist them when they arise. This is the conclusion of Peter Galwitzer, a professor of experimental psychology at NYU who conducted hundreds of studies on how people can stick to their long-term goals in the face of immediate urges. Galwitzer found that most people don't lack motivation to follow their goals, but have difficulty staying on track when faced with their immediate desires. The solution, according to Galwitzer, is the if-slash-then ritual. The more challenging the objective, the greater the power of this tactic. Imagining and anticipating obstacles, rather than avoiding immediate discomfort, are more effective practices for individuals and society to face challenges and find opportunities within them. Short-term metrics, the culprit of obscuring the big picture. Often, individuals set goals to track progress in their fitness journey, such as running half a mile daily. 
Although it may indicate improvement, it doesn't take into account other factors like a daily sugar intake. Focusing on short-term metrics can obscure the big picture, affecting long-term threats and opportunities. Our evolutionary aversion to loss is the reason for this behavior. To achieve foresight, one must master the art of tuning out the noise of short-term losses and adopt a long-term perspective. The Downside of Short-Term Metrics Setting short-term metrics to track progress towards a goal can be helpful, but relying on them too much can lead to a myopic focus on a single data point. This approach can obscure the bigger picture, including long-term opportunities and threats. The tendency to focus on short-term metrics comes from our evolutionary aversion to loss. To overcome this, we need to tune out the noise of close-range losses and focus on longer-term goals. This can involve adopting practices like focusing on long-term expenses and hiding short-term portfolios until they reach a certain threshold. By doing so, we can gain foresight and avoid being blindsided by uncertain futures. Becoming a good ancestor the importance of treating resources as shared heirlooms for the benefit of future generations is the underlying message of this book excerpt. It highlights how the mindset of protecting heirlooms passes down from generation to generation and can be applied to preserving natural heritage. The Baja Peninsula's lobstermen demonstrate how a system that farms the sea ensures sustainable lobster fishing and fairness in distribution. The key takeaway is to consider current actions in light of future generations and ask oneself, how can I be a good ancestor? Bina Venkataramans, The Optimist's Telescope, is a critical examination of the factors that drive reckless and myopic decisions, both individually and collectively. Through various examples and experiments, the book highlights the importance of cultivating a clear vision of the future and considering the long-term consequences of our choices. By embracing planning, mental time travel, and an ability to re-envision our resources as shared heirlooms, we can all learn to be better ancestors and, ultimately, make decisions that benefit both ourselves and generations to come. In a world facing unprecedented challenges, the Optimist's Telescope e is an invaluable guide to shifting our perspectives, honing foresight, and building a better future for all.